Hello. It's cold here, but I have a project that I have to do outside. I've been asked to make an eight foot diameter ring of conduit for a theater production, I guess to be suspended above the stage and maybe I think vines or something. I think it's a Midsummer Night's Dream, which I've never seen before. So I'm excited to see it um, and excited to be a part of it. I bought uh, four pieces of 10 foot conduit and a pipe bender, which I've never used before. I'm excited to try it. I've also got this handy bend calculator that lets you uh, type in the uh, desired diameter. So eight feet is 96 inches. And that means I'm gonna need four sticks, but I want to use four segments instead of three because as you can see, the three looks a little triangular and I want it to be more round. So I need four segments that are 75.4 inches. Um, and the angle I'm bending is gonna be 10 degrees, which it says that's the easiest to do. So total number of bends uh, per segment is nine. And I bend every 8.38 uh, inches, which means that's eight and three eighths, 3.75. So first thing I'm gonna do is mark the poles every eight and three eighths inches. All right, here I go. The pipes are wanting to roll on me, so I'm gonna get a clamp and clamp it so it doesn't roll. Join me. My shop is very clean right now. Makes me very happy. There's a few little piles of things to clean up, but for the most part, or to organize really, but for the most part, it's very clean. So let's see, I'll grab my clamp here. I might need two, so I'll take two with me. Oh, I just, I love an organized shop. So, so thankful for that. All right, let's try this again. All right, I marked out the poles. I have labeled where I need to cut, but they, the advice on the website was don't cut it until you got all the bends in. It's just easier um, to do the last bend. So let the excess be what you're using to bend, I guess. So <laughs> now it's time to actually try bending something. And hopefully this doesn't go horribly wrong and cost me $10 in conduit. We'll see. All right, so what I can see is there's a notch here and I think that's where you want it to bend, right? I got it set to 10 degrees. So now I think I just put it on the ground and step on it. What happened there? Why did that happen? All right. I'm getting warm because I'm being active. So that's supposed to be a fourth of a circle. I have an idea. I need some chalk. Got a sparkling water and a sidewalk chalk. Hmm. So eight foot diameter would be a four foot radius. Yeah, I need string. So I've got string. How do I anchor it to a point? Wow. So I must have overbent it at that crease. Otherwise, it would have been great. See how this follows the curve pretty well. I think I'm just going to bend another one. 
uh, and be more ginger with it. And then maybe I can salvage this one or I may have to go <laughs> spend $10 for another one. That's more or less uh, the right angle. I'll keep going. That's two successful bends. But if I could recreate that again, and then do the coupling, it, I, may, I may actually pull this off. That is almost a completed circle. That is crazy. All right, I think I'm gonna cut off the edges of these three and then see how, if I can salvage that last one that I messed up. <laughs> All right, got three pieces, quarter circles. To connect these, I have these couplers. All right, that's not going anywhere. I mean, it's almost a circle. Just need that section. This might work. I have enough left over on the other side of this bent one that I can use the rest of it. I'm just gonna cut right past this kink and then bend the rest. So I think I think that'll do it. doesn't quite meet up, but might be able to manhandle it into place. All right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, there it is. A big circle. I'm tempted to uh, take it and, you know, roll it like a, like a hula hoop. It's a really bad idea. I gotta try it. Bent it. That's okay. Looks like it's okay. <laughs> that was silly. There it is. An eight foot metal ring. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. I'm always doing something fun. Pack up pretty easily.